Everybody likes ghost stories. This is a ghost story, and it happened to me. I'm a mathematician. I live in Italy. When theorems don't get solved by themselves, I run a house near Salerno. It's a small town, hot in summer, cold in winter. There, I stare at white papers, waiting for equations to dance before my eyes. When frustration reaches its peak, I take a walk in the outskirts climb up bare hills. There's a clear view from up there. Hundreds of armies have passed. No one has stopped. Later, I eat where I'm the only customer. Another day of white papers. I wander around the house, visit the basement, rotten furniture, mouse shit. I climb up the attic, same old crap, a pedal toilet, a dead pigeon, a mannequin. There's an old heavy knitted scarf around its neck. I get closer. Something hooked my attention. Bang! A pair of eyes peep from behind the scarf. I rush down the ladder, frightened to death, knocking down everything that's in my way. Suddenly I stop. What the fuck am I doing? Jesus, I'm a man of science. This thing can't be. Those eyes. It simply can't be. I gather up my forces, climb up the ladder. The mannequin is still there. Cautiously, I get closer. Again, those eyes, those staring eyes. I'm petrified as facing Medusa herself. Finally, I regain consciousness, demesmerized. Recruiting my final resources, I grab the repelling object, hold it down the ladder, and finally stand it in front of my desk. The eyes keep staring, following me as I move around the room. I'm getting crazy. I must understand. I must give myself a rational explanation. Gently, I remove the scarf. Nothing. There is nothing beneath. Nothing hiding inside the tissue. It's just an old, dusty piece of cloth. I rewind the scarf around the mannequin's neck. Here they are again. The eyes resurface from nowhere. I sit at my table, grab a bottle from a drawer and start gulping just to calm down. As I said, I'm a man of science. I never left much space for the spirit, for supernatural. But there it is, in its bold self-evidence. I must recalibrate my inner world, comprehend, assimilate. Slowly, a new feeling makes its way to the surface of my conscience. Pity. Those eyes express an infinite terror. The terror of a lost soul stuck in an interstitial state between this world and the other. I try to communicate. Do you hear me? Can you understand? Blink once for yes and twice for no. Eyes never blink. They just tremble and stare. I clap my hands, wave my arms, switch lights on and off. Nothing seems to interfere with their fixity. Maybe showing her something that she can recognize. I don't know why, but I'm sure I'm dealing with a female spirit. Something that formerly belonged to her. I search the house for old stuff. A rusty coal iron, ancestor's portrait, worn silk scissors. I display the objects in front of the mannequin, sit at my table, keep mumbling for a while, and finally slide into sleep. I wake up frantically in the middle of the night, uncomfortable in my chair. The gaze is still on me, apparently less terrorized. Morning. A doorbell wakes me from incoherent dreams. It's Maria, a woman I hired to clean up the apartment. I hide the mannequin in a cupboard, let the lady in and go out for a walk. Fresh air strengthens my rational side. Is there a scientific way to paranormal? Can multidimensional theory explain my spiritistic experience? I am wishful to rejoin my little ghost for further research.